Hello everyone, I am the one and only Boiler and I welcome you to episode 35 of my Crusader Kings 3 Let's Play. Yeah, um, we are back and we are looking at Europe and at all the territories we are going to conquer with our glorious King Alexander. Um, yeah, uh, if we can deal with this uh, dangerous faction up here that is um yeah um burn is uh, still steadily growing and uh, we are conquering left and right and uh, hopefully at some point we'll be able to form an empire so we are still a kingdom here but uh yeah i uh, really intend to change that while um our king alexander is uh reigning so um yeah we'll see if we can do that um, one quick note, I will really try to uh, keep the episodes shorter from now on because, uh, yeah, um, uploading 4K video to YouTube is a pain in the ass. So, um, everything over one hour is just, is just terrible. Um, so I will try to keep it under one hour if possible. Um, just to give you, give you a heads up that I really intend to do that. Um, yeah because we are now playing in 4k and that just takes uh, an insane amount of time to upload not on my end uh, mind you it's really on the end of uh, youtube where the uh, bottleneck seems to be uh, but of course that is to be expected with all the uh, people around the world uh, uploading their videos every every day so uh, yeah that there is no infinite uh, <laughs> bandwidth on youtube side i guess so uh, yeah that's how it is so um what should we do? Um, we have, as I said, a dangerous faction right here that we need to deal with uh, because, well, they um, they do have a military power of 109%, which is a little bit of a problem. Um, now, I'm not really sure. I mean, he, well, he doesn't love us, but he does like us a little bit. Uh, I'm not really sure um, why guys like him, uh, who really seems to like me, are... Um, are uh, joining this but i am looking into what we can do now the problem is that this will fire in six months so um there's not much time so i cannot do like a sway scheme or try to kill someone or this will just not be possible now of course i could just let it happen and then uh, hope to beat it but um i'm a little bit concerned because well most of my dukes seem to be seem to be on board here so uh, especially the powerful ones so that seems to be a problem uh what we could do however is um we could try to bribe this guy he already likes us pretty pretty uh pretty well so uh, if we try to bribe him uh let's have a look here if i um where is it send gift um he will gain 64 opinion which of course will uh will uh lift him to 100 so uh he will then really love me and hopefully drop out of this faction if he if he does not um i will uh, lose a bunch of gold that i can then not use to raise um to raise uh, mercenaries so i'm really not sure but if he if he's really like 100 uh on our side uh he should actually he should actually like us pretty well so i will do that so he's at 100 and hopefully he will uh, leave this faction uh parallel to this i still like even if we don't have the time um i really like to where is it um to try to sway some of these guys so this guy seems to be pretty powerful as well so we'll try to uh sway him and if the bribe worked so if the other guy will leave i will probably just bribe this guy as well because we are about to receive some um money from the papacy i believe if i remember correct correctly uh, and we are also making a good bunch of money every month so um let's just get rid of these things here um i don't uh yeah i can usurp i can create and uh, whatever um yes i don't i know that i can imprison people so i'll just leave that here uh yeah i know that these want council positions but i don't have infinite council positions now the problem is i want to um usurp this uh this uh title here but uh 
as far as I know, they are at war, and while they are, I cannot usurp the title, uh, because that would be a good thing here. I, I would be able to um, to give that away to uh, to someone, and then uh, he would be definitely on my side. I'm just curious. Uh, I think at the moment, as long as I can't make this a duchy, I will just leave that, because I will get far more levies out of these two uh, counties here uh, if I just own them directly so uh, that should be all right and yeah and i don't think there's much else we can do we are really we are swaying we have a little bit of money and we'll see if the other guy leaves the faction or if we have to fight so we'll just let that run um so i got the money from the pope so we will have 1000 gold uh, and then we'll have another look at this faction. Uh, and, oh yeah, we are at a feast. I completely forgot about that. So we are attending a feast. Uh, the feast is dwindling down and I find myself deep in conversation with my enthusiastic vassal, Count Heinrich. He inquires about my opinion on friendship, a subject he's deeply interested in himself. Uh, now what can we do here? Um, it's a subject that fascinates me as well. I could not care less. Oh, I'm more interested in you and uh, no. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I will do the, the uh, first one there. A faction has disbanded now. I am curious what happened here. So the other guy is still in there. I mean, he's plus 100. Why? Why are you still in here? Why the hell are you still in there? I mean, you really, you obviously like me very much, but, um, so bribing doesn't seem to work. Can I, like, um, let me see. What can I do? Um, hmm, I can't really do anything else that will benefit me, so... Yeah, <clears throat> I will probably have to face this uh, at some point. Um, so what do we have? Oh, there is nothing like a feast. It reminds us all of what is good in life. And the company is not too bad either. At least those seated close to me seem to think so. You are something special, Alexander, Count Heinrich tells me. Creamhild and Momkill nod their heads in agreement. Just do... I just do what feels right. So I will lose some stress. Um... And a lot of people will... Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, a lot of people will uh, gain opinion of me and they will uh, obviously accept that. So what do we have? Yeah, we have a um, crusade that will be happening at probably at the same time when uh, our, our uh, uh, revolt will be uh, happening here. <clears throat> So, feast returning home. What a feast! I will remember the days spent in Count Heinrich's halls for a long time to come. Now it is time to wash off the traces of merriment and wine and once more resume my duties as a lord of the realm. Yep, farewell, my friend. Uh, let me just check something really quickly. Uh, relations, Guardian. Oh, this is the princess. So, I just want to make sure my son is actually my... Um, uh, let me see. Yeah, that's all right. So I just uh, I was no I was not sure if uh, I set that up correctly. So uh, greetings, my benign liege. I would like to uh, petition you in your wisdom to consider my claim for the county of Mainz. It is not uh, right that Countess Agnes should sit safely as usurper in his castle, um, mocking my dynasty's birthright. Please, my lord, support your lo loyal vassal by taking up arms if they will not recognize my claim willingly. So he wants, he wants the county of Mainz. So where is he sitting? He's sitting there. Uh, and where where does Mainz belong to? Um, that's dodgy titles. Yeah, he can actually... He can have that if he wants. Um, so Mainz, see yeah, that there, there wouldn't be a problem with that. Uh, when the time is right, um, within a year I shall act on your behalf. That might be problematic. Um, well, no, that might not be problematic at all, actually. Um, I will act only if and when I see any gain in it. Um, 
The problem is we have a crusade coming, we have a revolt happening probably, so I don't want to fight a war over one county up here. Uh, so I will say him, uh, tell him if the time is right. So let's have a look at that faction. So they are weakening somewhat, uh, but not enough. And why are you not leaving? That's, that's something that really uh, irks me in this game. Why am I not um, in a position to um, basically negotiate with him like, yeah, I give you this and that and then you leave the faction, something like that. Um, I mean, stuff like that would have happened. You would have, if you had uh, information about a faction that targets you uh, and you know who is involved, you would go out and try to negotiate with these people and try to uh, sway them into your direction or just uh, to be neutral or something like that. Uh, uh, why can't I do that? That's really, that really irks me. But um, yeah, it's the way it is. So we'll probably have to deal with that. Um, what is my marshal doing? Uh, let me have a look uh, quickly. So my marshal, he's really bad. I need a better marshal. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you good at something? Um, you are a good steward and you... You are also a terrible marshal. Uh, how many troops do you have? 6,000 troops, so I need you on my side, definitely. Um, <clears throat> uh, that is not very good. I, I would really need to uh, have a better marshal. How... Chivalry? Where can I get some extra points? But She is... Yeah, she has 7. Uh, well, I'm 16. Yeah, okay, I can't really do much right now. So we'll just let everything be as it is and well we'll see what we can do about this um rebellion once it happens we have a little bit of a gold reserve here and uh, we should be able to raise some mercenaries if we need to um yeah new carrot branch great <clears throat> i don't want that but yeah there's not much we can do so where's our faction so oh they are losing yeah yes he left the faction the other guy actually left the faction. Great. Woo. No, that is good news. Uh, who am I swaying? Let me just have a look. So this guy. Um, yeah, yeah, he wants to be in my council, but I'm swaying him. So, okay. So this faction doesn't seem to be a problem right now. They have lost quite a bit of power. Um... Of course, once they go up back to 80%, they will be able to uh, do so again. But uh, yeah, for the moment, we are safe. We have 20,000 troops. And when this crusade hits, we will be go uh, going crusading or we will go on crusade. Nephews laying in battle. Yeah, I don't care about that. Um, the time has finally come to bring St. George's holy wrath against the vile infidels of Abadid. Uh, where is that? That's over here, yeah. Uh, inflamed by righteous fury and unyielding resolve, the great army of crusaders assembled by Pope Honorius sets forth to deliver divine justice up on the wicked uh, and earn their place in heaven. Deus Volt. Okay, so let's do this. Um, I will raise all my armies. I should have done that down there. Yeah. Not uh, not a good idea. So I have actually uh, rally points like this, so we should have raised them there. They would have been a little bit closer, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. So um, <clears throat> let's see who are we. Oh, we are fighting against all of these guys. So yeah, that should be... We are pretty close, so we should be able to uh, really uh, ra uh, gain a, a high rank in this crusade. So before we go, though, uh, there was something else I wanted to do. And that is, uh, so I have daughters, uh, she's not old enough to uh, do something with her, but uh, how is she? She has a husband. So I want to see if I have uh, any female family members that don't have a, um, that don't have a husband. Uh, don't no probably not so it's all right so uh, I don't see any so we'll just let that be <clears throat> so uh, yeah yeah enemy and ally enemy ally so these are my troops right here uh, so we'll make two armies out of these I will take these two and tell them to assemble there and I will take 
no, 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 there, there, and I will take this one, send it up there, and let them assemble there, I will crank up the speed a little bit, so this army is assembled, um, first army of two or whatever, so uh, let's just march them down here, actually, uh, to Cargazon, so, <coughs> So we have two armies here, and these are the ones with the siege equipment, so uh, we'll also march them down here, uh, actually to the same province there, so uh, let's do that. And yeah, hopefully we'll be able to uh, get some pretty uh, pretty war score out of this. Uh, so, um, Marshall perk available, so we'll select that pretty quickly. So uh, we need to take this because uh, we can't uh, progress otherwise. So uh, we'll unlock this and then next... Yeah, that's great. We can actually use that. So uh, yeah. <clears throat> so our uh, our armies uh, are making good progress. So our Duke is swayed. Uh, let's go to factions and have a look there. So we have swayed him, we'll continue swaying him because he's really powerful and we want him on our side. So um, yeah, uh, let's go over these mountain passes and you can actually go down here. <clears throat> so the thing is, is this a... I'd say this is a ally army or something. Um, so let's send our... Uh, guys where they actually need to be which is uh, which is exactly there so um, I don't want to uh, get them away from each other too much so uh, I'll have to keep a close eye here uh, so this is my heir what is he doing just like other children his age my son and heir Philip sometimes lies and tests uh, boundaries. However, he often avoids suspicion with his sweet demeanor, and people always forgive him when he does get caught. I wonder just how much he gets away with. I'll keep an eye on this one. So, uh, he's charming, which is great. Um, actually, let me have a look at him. Uh, did we set a childhood focus for him? Um, yeah, it's a stewardship. Um, so that is not good. Uh, he's no, that is not good. Uh, what could the diplomacy? Yeah, so he will struggle with that because he is charming. Um, these two are neutral. What does he have already? So he's really good at diplomacy. Maybe that's not too bad. I mean, because he's a genius, uh, he will have high scores and everything uh, anyway. So we could give him a diplomacy education, which will mean that uh, his vassals will really, really like him. Um, that could be a advantage for uh, governing a large realm. So actually, we'll do that. We'll uh, say uh, you can be a diplomat for once. So uh, yeah, let's see how that uh, goes. So um, our armies are... Oh, my injured wife! What the hell happened? Um, why, is, why isn't this going away? Yeah. Anyway, so uh, my wife Queen Chisela has been wounded and her flesh has contracted fullness and swelling. If the right kind of treatment is administered and Jesus is merciful, she's, she should make it. Send for a phys physician now. Um, there's nothing that can be done. Um, yeah, we'll do that. <clears throat> court physician. Uh, finally, my servants have found some people who might be fit to serve as court physician. Either way, I fear I cannot afford to be uh, picky now. So, who do we have? We have him. He has oh, 17 learning. And she has 6. Yeah, um... Folquess is quite experienced, so I will lose some gold here, which is, which is not good, but uh, yeah, it's what it is. Uh, so you guys, um, please uh, make your way over there, and you guys, please make your way over... Can you go somewhere where you will not have attrition? No, you can't, so yeah. You go over there and uh, join the fighting, because we are very late to the, uh, to the fight! We need to participate here. Uh, we really do. So um, yeah, let's see. So this is the uh, this is the crusade. It's it's still at zero. Whoa! Look at these troop numbers. Jesus Christ! Look at these troop numbers. That's crazy. 
So I already lost a bunch of <laughs> of soldiers there. Um, so I will I will. Uh, is this this is an ally army? This is a what the hell is this? Uh, this is an enemy army. So uh, I will be careful there. Uh, actually, yeah. Let's see what we can do there. Um, probably we'll have to stack all our troops into one. So, is this all the troops I have left? That can't be. Where are my troops? Jesus Christ. Um, let's see. Um, if I put them together, that's all the troops I have left? Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, okay, well, let me see what has happened. Empty council position, uh, okay. Uh, dangerous faction again, um, yeah, so we'll have to deal with that. Oh, that's this one, it has six members right now, but yeah, um, should be alright. Um, let's see, how long until they can send an ultimatum? Um, 21 months, yeah, we should be fine. Um, what? It will my council position, so we have uh, an empty council position, so we will need a steward. Um, is there anyone who is good at this? Let me see. <clears throat> so his problem is he is good, but he likes us already. Um, how much? How many troops do you have? Yeah. Oh, now we can. Oh, now we can use this. Um, so we can this use this guy. We'll get the, the, him in there. Um, he will be happy with that, and then we'll just look for another marshal. Um, so someone who is good at marshalling, and someone we need to please, and that's this one. He has quite a few troops, and we are actually swaying him right now. So this one would be much better, but uh, he will be good enough, and uh, he, we really need him on our side. So we'll put him in there, and hopefully that will help with, um, yeah. Oh, there's a problem there. <clears throat> okay, this crusade is not going well. So these are enemy armies. Can we can we catch those? That would be great if we could if we could catch those armies there. Um Yeah, we will not join that fight over there. Uh we'll definitely not do that. So we'll try to siege this. Uh, probably actually not, because uh, we we need to siege territory that is part of the uh, crusade. Faction created? What is going on here? So this guy should drop out any moment now, because, well, uh, he really likes us. We, we gave him what, what he wanted. So this is a... Oh, whoa, whoa, this is a enemy army that is not good. We'll need to uh, we'll need to do something there. If they are coming our way, we need to get out of the way. Yeah, we need to go out, uh, get out of here. We need to get out of here and quick. Uh, we need to get out of there quick. So this crusade is not going well. Um, this crusade is absolutely going horrible for <laughs> for everyone involved. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> So let's get out of the way here. Let's just get out of the way. Jesus Christ. Oh, that is not good. That is not, that is so not good. Oh, so let's try and track these guys down. I mean, we'll need to, uh, whoa, we'll need to, uh, <laughs> where are they going? Jesus Christ. I mean, like the whole Crusader army is just getting the hell out of here. Ah, not good. Yeah, at least we'll have a high contribution. At least we'll have that. Yeah. Yep, that that's it. That's it. We are not going. We are not going to win this. Oh Jesus Christ! Now they are fleeing home. Faction. Uh, yes. Wait. Uh, your brother. Your oh Herman. Herman died. Uh, Herman of Bern. Who was he? Titles, uh, Duchy of Lombardy, County of Brescia. Uh, who is now ruling that? Oh, Jesus Christ, his son. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, my counselor Michael. Yes, he's dead. He's the one guy that stirred trouble. 
He's dead, yeah, and, and uh, I will not miss him. Yeah, I like combatant slain, yeah, that is not good. Um, let's have a look at our council. So we'll need a chancellor. Who can we get here? Uh, we can actually get Duke Ru uh, Ruprecht and... Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll get him. We'll get Duke Ruprecht. So, uh, how are we doing on factions? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll just, uh, where's our army? Where is our, where's the rest of our army? Oh, Jesus Christ. How is our, uh, contribution? Um, uh, my contribution, yeah, <laughs> rank first because we lost all our troops. We have again, once, uh, lower crown authority, hook expired, yeah, they only have so much, uh, they only have so high military power because uh, all my troops were basically destroyed. So, um, yeah. Uh, defeat, yes, I know, I know. Uh, can I? No, I don't want to. Uh, you can usurp, yeah, I know. But um, actually, right now, I'm not in the usurping mood. Jesus Christ, that was a kick in the ass. Oh, that's not good. Look at this crusade, this is going absolutely terrible, and the funny thing is, the um, the Christian side actually does have more troops, but somehow, uh, yeah, somehow they still fucked up terribly, so, <laughs> yeah, so where are our troops? Yeah, they are here, let, we'll let them uh, regenerate a bit, we'll let them to regenerate a bit, um, and then see what we can do. Um, yeah, probably I've just uh, guard my territory from invaders right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I can modify feudal contracts, up, but I don't want to. Um, and I don't want to, yeah. So let's let's actually get rid of that. Um, yeah, so we're still losing money. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, this crusade. This crusade will be completely and utterly lost. Minus 100%. This crusade is over. Why is she my steward? Does she have... Oh, um, no. Um... Okay. So where are you sitting? You are a Duchess of Vionoise. Okay. So for some reason you have a uh, guaranteed council rights. I want to take that away. Do I have a hook? No, I don't. Uh, but I don't want to be a tyrant. So um. So how how much levies do I get from you? A uh, few levies. Um, if I get low levies from you, so n currently I'm getting total levies um, 743 if I do that uh, oof, That's quite a hit. Uh, how about taxes? So currently I get 1.4 if I do that I get you will I'll lose one gold a month, which is not too much um, Tighter evocation, but no, I don't want um Jesus Christ. You know what? I will I will grant her low taxes. I can raise that at a, at a later point. And I want to take away her damned uh, rights to uh, have a seat on the council because I want to fire her. Uh, where is she? So I, I don't want you there. Um, so which one did, did I fire? It's this one. I guess, yeah, and I really... And I can't get him in there! Why can't I just fire her? Well, I, I've taken away her right, and now I can't fire her. Jesus Christ, that's not good. Um. So, you are Count Heinrich, how are you doing? Yeah, you are just a Count. Can I... Is the other guy good at spying? So this is this guy. Is he good at spying? Oh no, he's not. Um, Jesus Christ. Are you good at spying? No, you're not. But you know what? 
Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm not really doing much spying. So, um, actually, so let's let's get her in there. Uh, where is she? Uh, sort by power. So where is she? Uh, so Duchess Cothilda of yeah, swap. Yes, swap. And then I'll need to fire him because I really need this guy in. What the hell? Why can't I assign him? Um, you certainly do not have a guaranteed council right. You certainly do not have a guaranteed... No, you don't have. Why do you have low taxes? Um... Why can't I just... Why can't I make you steward? Why Why is that not possible? I, I should be able to fire him. Personal, um... Request him a murder, hostile, vassal. Revoke, tile, more. So you are just a count. You are just a count. Count Heinrich. So where the hell... County of Grison. You are this guy, okay? So why the hell can't I fire you, appoint a steward? Um, I don't get it. This this, this is a bug, probably because I I I took away her right to be on the council. Um. I should be able to fire her, but he never had a right to be on the council. I should definitely be able to fire him. But if that's not possible, I will obviously swap them back because, uh, well, uh, otherwise it's a waste of talent. So, uh, yeah, swap. Yeah, because he is too, he's, he's a much better spy master. Can I get him out of here and then swap? Why can't I fire him? I am blocked from firing him. Why am I blocked from firing him? Jesus Christ, this is just not... I cannot fire her. I can fire everyone else, but I... I why can't I fire him? That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Whatever. So the warrior, the warriors of Saint George found only death and humiliation at the gates of Obadit. The crusade, so eagerly called and supported by Pope Honorius, ended in a disastrous defeat that has only hurt the cause of the faithful. This will surely embolden more blasphemers and infidels to further stray from Catholicism. Catholicism. Saint George abandoned us. Yes. Um. Yeah. So be it. That's that's how it is. So I can now disband my army and uh, get some gold going. Um, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah. Why the hell can't I... Count Heinrich? Can I fire you now? No, I can't. Why can't... He has no guaranteed rights. Absolutely none. Jesus Christ, why can't I just fire the guy? How old are they? Uh. So, yeah. Yeah, that's a problem. We, we now have a vassal who absolutely um, will hate us be because we uh, ejected him from the council without uh, uh, actually want wanting to do that. Uh, what are you doing currently? Collect taxes? No, you should pr be promoting culture. Why are you not taking up the task that I set for you. Oh, because it's finished. <laughs> um, okay, so um, you will be promoting culture in... Where the hell are you promoting culture? In Upper Burgundy, actually. So um, you are going to promote culture uh, in here. So actually do something useful. 
So, um, yeah, but she will not be pretty good at that. So, what can we do now? Uh, we need to wait until our army gets back on its feet. Until then, we can't really do much. Um, so, let's have a look around. Um, and let's try to actually usurp this here. Can I usurp this? Uh, usurp? Yes, I can. Uh, I will gain some prestige. Too many held touches, yes and no, I will give that away immediately. So who is sitting here? Countess Melisende of Tortoli, yeah. So I will give this away to uh, to someone, so grant two. Uh, filter, uh, Dynasty, Gerald Olin, um, adult, uh, yes, um, gender, male, then uh, religion, definitely Catholic. Uh, culture Swabian, um, claims, um, no claims, oh, that is a problem, <laughs> uh, ruler, not ruler, so this only leaves Philip, who is he, um, who is he, um, okay, he is no one, I don't know who he is, he's a Gerald Donan, uh, that's all I know, yeah, he's Gerald Owen and Chalon, but uh, still a Gerald Owen. And so, um, who are your parents? So he doesn't seem he doesn't seem to have anything. So we'll just give him this title, um, grant titles, um, and I will give him um, this, this, and this. Okay. And uh, what's that? Okay. Um, yeah, that's that. That's what I want. Uh, what I want to give him so we'll grant him these titles and yeah we'll have another uh oh i have another faction that has disbanded um now we'll just need to uh get our hands on that can we do this um yeah you, you are pretty weak so declare war um seize the county of uh, logudoro de shure uh declare this war so um let me just make a rally point here. Um, how I, well? How do I do that again? Um, or do I want to rally my troops down here? Or no, I want to make a rally point here actually. So let's go here, make a rally point, put that there, and uh, rally point in Cagliari. So and we'll go here and uh, raise a local army. Will that be enough? How much troops do you have? Local armies would actually be raised local army. Yeah, that's actually great. Um, Duke Ulrich is swayed, so uh, we'll send that army over there. Um, and for some reason they are going out to sea. Okay, well if they want to do that, they can. Um, what have we, what do we have here? Um, maybe oh, we actually caught them. <laughs> I don't want to call dynasty members, definitely not. Um, yeah, and we are now sieging this, and we are going to our prison and see who we can ransom. Actually, quite a few guys. So, um, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for that. Um, for a favor, yes. Um, this guy for a favor, yes, yes, yes. I just want to empty my prison. So, uh, who do we have now? Uh, we have him negotiate or her uh, demand conversion will accept negotiate release. Uh, needs taken prisoner needs released. Um, yeah. So, uh, what else do we have? Um, yeah, not much. Um. And then we'll go to war for this. Oh, he has allies, actually. Count and Prince of Calabria. Or whatever that is. Oh, that's down there. Shouldn't be a problem as well. So, uh, yeah, this will be finished in a moment. And then we'll um, see what else. So, uh, we'll do this. And uh, force demands and force demands. So be it. And this now belongs to... 
Uh, this guy, and this is his vassal. Yeah, that's great. So disband all troops. Yes. And uh, let's go and see if we can declare war here. Declare war. Uh, seize the Shore County. Uh, vastly inferior. Um, yeah. So we'll declare this war. It will cost us some prestige. I don't care. And again, we'll uh, raise local army, uh, which should be enough for this, and send that up there. So, um, yeah, they will have some friends coming up from uh, down there, but um, that shouldn't be a problem. So, enemy ally joins war. Uh, this is a neutral army right there, so it's not a problem. We are promoting our culture. Martial perk available. This is the uh, Sapper's perk. Um, oh, siege progress. That's actually great. We can use that. And we are not far away from our final perk there. So, um, yeah. So they are now shipping around a little bit, uh, but uh, we are sieging their capital and that shouldn't be a problem. So uh, what? Uh, well, my daughter is now uh, fully grown and we'll uh, see if we can find her a husband. So uh, let me see. Find spouse. Okay. Uh, who can we get here? So uh, we'll obviously um, go down... Yeah, maximum age, age difference. No, we'll go for maximum age. Adult, um, adult. Uh, fertility, fertile, definitely religion. Uh, we want the Catholic. We want the Swabian. Um, we'll want uh, not a ruler. Uh, probably no claims if, if possible. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. We can get a ruler. Um, so we'll just uh, set matrilineal here. And um, no, we will not get a ruler. Do we get someone with a claim? Um, any claim? No, we don't get people with claims. It doesn't really matter. So uh, let's sort by age. Can we do that? Oh, uh, not that. I didn't want to click on him. Can we sort by age? Uh, probably we can't. So, uh, or is it already sorted by age? seems like that so um do, who do we have we have t twin and Gottschalk and t twin von Vienna Venice we have Falkmar um so how are these people he's cynical callous and diligent um yeah well I don't want a callous man for her uh, he's fickle deceitful and gregarious uh, we have wengeful trusting and generous uh, that doesn't seem too bad he's a lowborn though um Hans Fro von Kromburg, the uh, craven arbitrary. Almaric, patient, temperate, and cynical. Uh, he's a little bit old. Um and they only get older from there, okay. So uh yeah, we'll probably go vengeful, trusting, generous. <laughs> That's a little okay. Um Does it matter really? He's lowborn, fickle, deceitful, and great. Actually, let's get him. Let's get the twin from uh, from Venice. Um, you know, matrilineal send proposal and yeah, marry her off. Um, yeah, just marry my daughters to. Um, mm -hmm. We'll just marry our daughters to whoever. Uh, can be pressed into a matrilineal uh, marriage because we want as many Gerald Onan as we can get. Uh, so, uh, yeah, our prestige will be back up over 5,000 in just a second. Siege won. Yeah, prisoner taken. So we have already won that war. Uh, we have some prisoners here whom we can... Uh, uh, for a favor, I'm not interested in favors, I'm interested in gold. Oh, these are all just favors. So we can as well um, enforce our demands, so be it. And now this belongs to um, this guy as well. So we can disband all our armies and be done with that. So Sardinia now belongs to us. Now we have uh, only Corsica to deal with. Um, do we have any claims over here? Um, declare war. Um, no, the problem is who is count? Who is this guy? No, I will not press your claim. I will get a claim of my own. 
so where is my uh, archbishop? Fabricate a claim to whatever. Um, um, let me just have a look here. What the hell? This belongs to whom? This belongs to Prince uh, of... Uh, okay. That is interesting. Um, yeah, well, actually, we'll actually make a uh, claim on any of these. So probably there. So yeah, uh, let's go back, make a claim, do that there, and be done with that. So um, yeah, we wanted to let our army regenerate a bit, uh, so we'll do that. And let's have a look at the uh, at the time here. Yeah, I can go on for a little bit longer. Um, let me just see how old is our guy. He's still very young, so we'll uh, we'll be he'll be around for a, for a bit. Uh, we really have a little bit of a problem with gold there. Um, so I can has I can ask uh, my head of faith for gold. Um, yeah, and we'll actually do that. So we have two powerful vassals who wants. Yeah, he wants a council position. I know, but I I can't fire this guy. I don't know why. Jesus fucking Christ! Stuff like that makes me angry. Eh? So uh, yeah, we are back up uh, with our gold there. And yeah, let's see if we can build something with that gold as soon as we have well, over 1,000. Uh, so there's a feast going on from Count Reinhold. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but uh, I will go anyways. Um, every guest is gathered in the Great Hall and our gracious host Count Reinhold has welcomed us all to the feast. I look forward to this. Who are we swaying actually? Uh, we are swaying this guy and it doesn't really matter because he already has 100, but yeah, well, I'll keep uh, doing that and then I'll switch to another uh, guy. Um, yeah, I don't want that. So what do we have? Feast the conversation partner. As one plate of food is replaced by the next, my acquaintance Richenzo goes on and, ab uh, and on about lawmaking. And that was how we salvaged that mess. Are you sure I'm not boring you, my lord? No, please do go on. Interesting conversation. Yeah, definitely. I will do that. So he's not swayed, obviously, because he is already loving us. So uh, let's have a look at my vassals. Uh, where do I see my vassals? I do see my vassals here. So this guy is a problem. This guy's a problem, so we need to sway him, and we really need to do that quickly. Uh, how are we doing on factions? Currently, very well, actually. Okay. Okay. So. Your culture has discovered mangonels. Oh, okay, let's have a look at that. Um, mangonels, where are they? Yeah, they are there. So, can we switch to the next one? No, we can't. So, what should we um, focus on? Horseshoes. Oh, yeah, that's actually, that's good. Do that. So, words of war. What right does Countess Philippa think she has to claim that my ideas of warfare are, of warfare are misguided? Claiming that my ideas will break down the uh, moment combat is met. What does she know, really? I would love a chance to settle this on the battlefield. Uh, so. Oh, I get lots of good stuff. I get lots of good, good stuff out of this uh, feast. It's always a good idea to join feasts. So, yeah, that's great. So, uh... Oh, I hate her. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, returning home. What a feast! I will remain. I will remember the days spent in Count Reinhold's halls for a long time to come. Now it is time to wash off the uh, traces of merriment and wine and once more resume my duties as a lord of the realm. Farewell, thy vassal. And I lose some stress, which is great. Um... <laughs> oh, I will lose some prestige there. I don't want to lose prestige. I hate losing prestige, but yeah. So, that's that. Um, Yeah. What else is going on? Not much right now. So, let's have a look what we have here. So, we have three uh, guys who want a... 
Console position, uh, sway, infiltrators, what do we have here? It has come to my attention that some local commoners are moving to Reims, the capital of my friend Duke Hamelin. Locals, newly settled or not, praising me can surely do no harm to his perception of me. Uh, take this gold and make sure you're heard. Uh, do I want to spend that gold? Uh, no, we are not under that kind of pressure. So, I wanted to see what we can build here. Uh, so we have a royal forest. Can we upgrade that? No, we can't. Um, what else do we have here? Have we something we can upgrade currently? No, no, no. We cannot upgrade anything. Um, let's go over here. Well, if we can't upgrade something uh, over there, we can't do so here. Um, uh, what about Zurich? So we have a few things we can upgrade. Hunt hunting grounds, um, more taxes, more levies, more... Okay, we'll upgrade that. Um, is there something here we can upgrade? No. Uh, what's that? Oh, I can upgrade that. What's that? This is a Carver's Guild. Uh, okay, but this belongs to this guy, so I don't really know if I want to upgrade this. This holding. Oh, actually, that's great. But... So this will go towards um, County Holder. Okay. So this belongs to this city, so if I upgrade this, I, I won't gain anything from it, I believe. Not really sure, yeah. So uh, let's go somewhere where I actually can uh, profit. So um, I can build something right here. I can build a dodgy building. And what do we get? Um, Army gold miners. What did I build over here? I built royal forest, which is just basically tax income so let's go here and see what we can get so we can get army gold maintenance which is not bad uh, and we can crank it up to minus five percent which is still not too great so uh, marches uh, the vendor then supply limit fourth level so this is for defense but this is in the center of our realm so um siege works siege weapon effectiveness holder of this holding Siege weapon toughness. Oh, that's actually not bad. Royal armories, levy size plus 20%. All holdings in this dodgy. Uh, what is our levy size? Uh, our levy size is. Well, yeah, well, no, we don't need that. Um, jousting grounds. Holder of this holding. Uh, we get a bunch of uh, bonuses here. Cavalry. Uh, blacksmith, um, spearman, oh, that is not bad. Archery grounds, archers, tax offices, holding taxes. All holdings in this, ta in this dodgy plus 10%. Um, holder of this holding. Leisure palace. Uh, okay. That's not bad. Royal reserves. Um... Level 1 Royal Forest. This is tax income and development growth. Do I just want to go for the tax income? That's the question here. Or do I want something else? Hmm. So this is not bad. Man at Arms Maintenance. Um, Man at Arms Maintenance. Heavy infantry, spearmen, spearmen, heavy infantry. What do we have in our um, in our men at arms regiments? Um, we have so we have pikemen, which is a spearman. Um, we have light horsemen, onlookers, light horsemen, and bowmen. So we don't really have. So the spearmen will get quite a bit of bonus. We will have a lower maintenance. Um, So, uh, how much do they cost uh, for a uh, well? If we get minus 6% here, that is actually... How high does it go? Minus 10%. It's not too bad, actually. And we get some nice bonuses there as well. <coughs> On the other side... Uh... <clears throat> hmm. 
Uh, let me have another look at this. How high do these taxes go? This holding plus 1.4. Um, no, no, no. I want, I want to do something else here. I want to do actually blacksmith. Um, what else do we get out of there? Yeah, we can. We have two uh, regiments of pikemen right there. So spearmen. Um, actually, we can profit from that. So um, you know what? Well, let's construct that. Let's construct that. We'll uh, get some nice uh, um, bonus out of this, and it's totally worth it. <laughs> I hope at least. So we cannot upgrade anything here. We cannot upgrade anything here, and that's basically it. Then um, yeah. So there's something we could actually upgrade. Oh, we are actually working on something right now. So um, yeah. So and I would say since I want to make shorter episodes uh, because uploading 4K to YouTube is such a pain in the ass, I uh, will finish it here. Um, so it wasn't the uh, most successful of episodes, but uh, we can say we uh, finished our conquest of Sardinia and uh, we participated in a uh, <laughs> crusade that went just horribly wrong. I, I assume this is, this is the first crusade in our game uh, here that actually failed. I believe all others have succeeded. This is the first one that actually failed. Uh, it's not our fault because, well, um, we there was no chance our army could do anything with uh, the enemy running around with 20k stacks and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, this is uh, if we could have co coordinated uh, our efforts. I mean, the uh, Crusaders clearly had the larger army overall, but since every army would attack individually, uh, yeah, they were they were just. Uh, beaten and yeah that's the way it was so uh, this this didn't go very well so let's have a quick look at the map um, yeah uh, Nikea is doing quite well um, Byzantine Empire is a little bit fractured huh? uh, and other than that there are not ma many large realms uh, around Jerusalem is doing quite well and then we have Catholic Syria so uh, yeah the Muslims are not doing so uh, well in this uh, playthrough uh, right here. So, and the papacy is actually quite large. Um, yeah. So next time I hope we'll have the resources and the time to uh, do some more conquering in Europe to uh, finally get that um, that second kingdom going. And actually, let's have a look at the kingdoms. Um, so Sardinia. Can we actually usurp that? We. Uh, how many counties there are three counties there and we have four yeah we have four we have five actually we have five counties and there are three more over here let me have a look at that so the uh, kingdom of sardinia no this is the kingdom empire of italy kingdom of sardinia um oh actually we can create this title oh no that is great i didn't realize that Woo, that is great. We'll do that in the next episode. Kingdom of Sardinia. We can create that title. It will give us a bunch of prestige. And uh, this will be our second kingdom title. This is great. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll, we'll, we'll form our second kingdom title in the next uh, episode. So, um, yeah. That's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoy, uh, enjoyed the episode. P if you did, please leave a like below. And come back next time. Um, yeah, and uh, until then, I wish you all the best. Have a great time. Be safe. Be uh, stay healthy. And yeah, bye.